So I got up this morning with the full intention of riding 100 miles to kind of celebrate hitting 10,000 miles for the year and looked out the window and this really thick pea super had descended down here in Devon and didn't look like it was going to shift anytime soon so I've kind of changed my thought and thinking actually do you know what let's not ride out on that first this is crazy I don't want to put myself in a position where I could get run over or hit by a driver that can't see me it just doesn't make any sense to do that and I can also get some work done. So I've basically sent, sent off emails to a few of the people here at Velo and I've looked at their training to make sure they're on point. So that's all done. So now I can just kind of relax a little bit. I've waited for the sun to come out to burn that fog off, which it has. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ride down the coast, go for about a 50 mile ride and take you guys with me. And also maybe ride up a cheeky little 20% just for a bit of fun. Anyhow, why don't you guys come with me? I have to take that video because I always say to people as I'm passing by, did you see the Dalek? And they go, I don't know what you're talking about, but it's always hidden in this corner here in this bush. So just so these guys know I'm not lying, that's the Dalek I'm talking about. Well, the weather has changed. It's got a little sunnier but it's still a little bit foggy in the distance. Occasionally, as I was going through the valley, the, uh, the mist was quite thick, but it's not looking like that on the coast. And I've chosen this route because if it's clear enough, we might be able to see whales on the other side, which would be cool. I love this route. It takes me away from a lot of traffic and uh, get to ride some chunky little hills. It has turned into a pretty nice day, actually. That is whales behind us, but unfortunately, I think the cloud covers so much that you can't actually see whales, but you'll just have to take my word for it. I talk about nutrition all the time, and I'm just climbing up that hill just at the top here, and I'm thinking, I'm kind of hungry. I'm like, why am I hungry? And I looked at my clock and realized that it's almost lunchtime. So I'm kind of glad I stopped off at the petrol station and got Bobby's Raspberry Crumble Flapjack, which is 79p. I'm going to be very delicious and full of calories. Well, it's good to see Hunters Inn open again after what seems for ages that it's been closed. It's good to see people eating there again. Right, cracking on. I've got this 20% coming up. This should be a bit of fun. Here's this 20%. One of the things you'll have noticed is I do a bit of climbing in and out of the saddle. Now I do that because I think it's really important that you have the ability to do both. So when I'm coaching my cyclists, when they do their hill reps or any low cadence sessions, I try and get them to do a variety of both. That way, when they come to do a long ride or if they're going to do a sportif and they find a challenging hill, they can ride in and out of the saddle comfortably. Just cycle through in, so, and that panoramic view you just saw shows you Appledore, which is where I live. It's a beautiful part of the country. 
Didn't have time to do 100 today. Well, sometimes that happens. The weather conspires against you and you've got to go back and work. But I did have a chance to stop off, or I did take the chance to stop off at my favorite local coffee stop down at Key 22 in Biddeford. The guys that run that are just so friendly, so nice. And their coffee is really good. Right, better get home. I've got to go and take a call. Oh, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe just to stay in contact. Cheers for watching.